and Moonshaka. Hi guys, this is Max from HighOnAndroid.com, where we get <laughs> on Android every day. Anyway, today we're gonna go ahead and root my Galaxy S9 Plus or S9 if you have an S9. Let's go do this, baby. <laughs> All right, before I begin, some of you may be asking, Hey Max, why would I want to ruin my film? Because I freaking told you so. Duh. All right, on a serious note, um, one of the reasons why you would root your Galaxy Note 8, maybe a year later, Galaxy S10 comes out, you're gonna be able to install the S10 software. Or for example, I just posted the Oreo ROM for the Galaxy Note 3. Samsung has stopped updating this phone since about two or three years ago, since Android Lollipop. But with root, I was able to install the latest Android 8.1 Oreo today, while still some of the newer phones don't have it. All right, you might not actually need Root right now, but you may be watching this maybe a few years later down the road when you actually need it. So just keep it in mind, even if you don't use this tutorial. But let's go ahead and root it. Okay, guys, the first thing you want to do is actually make a backup. I do recommend backing up anything important that's gonna wipe off everything on your phone. All right, that's just the way it is when you root the Samsung devices. You can go ahead and use the Samsung Switch Okay, you can go ahead and use SD card or USB storage. If you're gonna use USB storage, you can go ahead and use the OTG adapter that comes with your phone, attach a flash drive, all right? And simply attach it and you can back it up that way. I'm gonna use my SD card, just hit the backup and back up all the stuff you want it. But you can see here, I've already backed up my stuff yesterday. Um, so I'm good to go, make a backup with this. Now this is actually the first time I'm using it, so we'll find out how well it works, but I've backed up pretty much all my apps and app data. You've been warned, you're gonna lose everything on your phone when you root it. Next, go into settings, about phone, and check your model number, all right? And go to my site, make sure your model is supported. But this should work for all the Exynos models of Galaxy S9 or S9 Plus. Also, if you have Qualcomm version of Chinese model, um, it does have an unlocked bootloader, and it will work also. All right, you just need a different version of Tor. Uh, make sure your model is supported. All the US models, all the Qualcomm based models are not supported, except for the Chinese models I said. Now, once you verify that your model is supported, go into software information. Oh yeah, also all the Korean models are supported. Next, you're gonna go into your build number and hit it about five times until it says developer mode has been turned on. Hit the back button twice and you can scroll down and you'll see a menu for developer options. Go ahead and tap on that. And if you don't see OEM unlock and you did not have your phone for seven days, just come back to this screen every day until it is on. Today is actually my seventh day that I've turned on my phone. Um, so I just got it. That's why I'm making this tutorial. So um, if you see it, make sure to turn it on and leave it on at all times, all right? This is because Samsung has put a new lock uh, with the newer devices, starting with the Note 8, uh, which means you have to wait seven days before you can actually unlock, OEM unlock your device. Once that's done, we're gonna go ahead and simply power off our phone, all right? Next, we're gonna go ahead and put it into download mode. You're gonna hold down the volume down and the Bixby, all right? Hold down, volume down, Bixby. All right, while holding those down, you're gonna go ahead and hold down also the power button. All right, and let go of all the buttons when you see the warning screen. Sorry, it's very light with this one. Go ahead and hit the volume up key, all right? And this will put you into download mode. Why is this so dim? And you're gonna go ahead and connect it to your computer via cable, you'll need a Windows computer for this. Okay guys, you'll need to download a bunch of files. You'll find all these files on my site. I put it in one place because the S9 and S9 Plus uh, root method is rather complicated. But first you'll need Torp recovery for your S9 or S9 Plus. This is for my S9 Plus since I'm using an S9 Plus. Um, that's the only different file. Other than that, for both S9 and S9 Plus, you'll need Super SU. Now Majisk is not compatible as of this video, so that's why we're using SuperSU. You also need Samsung Anti-Removal Tool. This will get rid of annoying uh, messages. Also, you need uh, Samsung USB drivers. 
Also, you need RMM state bypass. This will basically disable the OEM unlock. And if you don't do this, you will end up in a boot loop. You also need Odin 3 zip. Um, you also need um, no verify OPT encrypt star dot zip. This, this will unencrypt your phone. So you can um, also, if you don't use this, then you will also end up in a boot loop. All right, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven files you need. Go ahead and download it. Now the download page on my website, um, don't click on the ad. Sometimes people get confused. Just go ahead and scroll all the way down to the bottom and click here to download. All right. You may have to wait like five seconds. Oops. I don't have an internet connection. All right. Once that's done, you're going to go ahead and unzip Odin three zip file. You get a, um, go ahead and double click it and go to extract all files. Um, and you get a folder called Odin three V underscore three dot one, three dot one. Go ahead and double click on the Odin 3 EXE files. Go ahead and hit run and you should see a blue highlighted uh, box. If you don't see this, um, you've probably never rooted your phone. This is different drivers from keys. Go ahead and go back to your downloads folder and go ahead and double click on the Samsung USB driver EXE program. Um, this is the driver for all Samsung phones. Um, go ahead and double click it, run the installation program. Uh, once it's done, go ahead and unplug your USB, plug it back in, and you will see this blue highlighted box. Okay, guys, next you're going to go ahead and choose AP, and go ahead and choose the Torp recovery file you downloaded for S9 or S9 Plus. Hit open. All right, this is very important. Go ahead and hold down volume up and the big speed. And when the screen goes off, you're going to hit the power key, all right? So as soon as I hit start, I'm going to go ahead and hold down volume up, big speed, and then when the screen goes off, I'm going to go, go and hold down the power button for about three to five seconds. All right. Just practice this before you do it. You have to do it exactly like this. If you miss it, you'll have to wait seven days. All right. It sucks to wait seven days. So I'm going to go ahead and hit start, hold down volume up, big speed, wait for the screen to go off. I'm going to hold down all three keys with the power. One, two, three, four. Let go of the power button and keep holding down volume up and the Bixby, and you should be in Torp recovery in a few more seconds here. All right, and boom shakalaka. Okay guys, next step, you're gonna go ahead and go to wipe, go to format data, say yes, and this will erase everything on your phone, all right, except for contents of your external micro SD card. All right, that's why I was telling you, make a backup, a backup of all your you know, things that are important. All right, once that's done, very important, you're going to hit the home button. You're going to go to reboot and hit recovery and do not install. You have to reboot into recovery. If you boot into system, you're going to have to wait seven days. And I don't want you guys to wait seven days. Now, once rebooted into Torp recovery, we're going to go ahead and put it into read only mode and we're going to have to disable encryption. All right in the boot. I'll show you how to do that. Go to keep read only. You're going to go ahead and connect it back to your computer and go to your computer and you're going to go ahead and copy over these files. You're going to go ahead and copy over super SU, a Samsung anti removal tool, also RMM state bypass and no verify uh, encrypt 6.0 star dot zip. All right. And this is same for all S9 or S9 plus copy and go ahead and paste it in anywhere into the internal storage. All right, once that's copied over, you're done. For some reason, if you can't connect it to your computer, you can always use a micro SD card, just pop it out, copy the files over, put it back in and go to install and you can go ahead and change this uh, storage by selecting storage. All right, um, once you're here, you're gonna go ahead and go to install and you're gonna choose no verify OPT encrypt. This will get rid of the encryption before you flash the other files. All right, if you don't do this and um, try to write over the files, um, you'll end up in a boot loop. All right, once that's done, very important again, you're gonna go to reboot and recovery, all right? Choose do not install. You have to make sure you reboot into recovery. If you accidentally like hit a button and it accidentally boots into system, then you have to wait seven days and you will have to, on top of that, unroot your phone with stock firmware. Your phone will be sort of bricked. All right, once that's done, we're gonna go ahead and um, go into install and we're gonna go ahead and choose RMM state bypass. 
all right, this very important file, this will get rid of that OEM unlock check. All right, hit the back button. We're gonna go ahead and next root our phone. Um, go ahead and choose SR5 Super SU. Unfortunately, at time of this video, Majisk is not compatible uh, with the Galaxy S9 and S9 Plus because Samsung uh, wants to keep tricking us. Now, I don't know what happened, but um, it will it will eventually work. Right now, we're in still beginning stages. Um, it should be very easy to switch to Majisk once it's available. Uh, when that's available, I'll have an update on a tutorial and I'll have a new tutorial with Majisk when it's also available. Um, that way you can hide root. But for right now, you can't hide root, unfortunately, um, but you'll only get root. All right, when that's done, hit the back button and choose Samsung anti-removal um, zip file. This will get rid of any annoying messages, all right? and finalize your route. If you don't do that, you'll get these annoying um, messages and your phone will sometimes lag. All right, so make sure you flash that. And when that's done, you're gonna go ahead and reboot system. Do not install. Let me go ahead and change the camera. And give it about a minute or two. Let it boot. It will actually reboot once, don't worry about it. That's actually normal. <laughs> first, first time I did it, I was like, oh no, I messed up. Um, just give it a minute and come back and you'll be fully rooted. All right guys, once your phone starts up, go ahead and sign in, I'll be back. I'm gonna just go ahead and skip through all this. All right guys, once sign in, you should see Super SU, go ahead and run it. And if you don't get any errors, you are fully rooted. All right, guys, moment of truth. You can go ahead and verify you have full root by running any rooted app. I do recommend Titanium Backup app for all your apps. Go ahead and hit open and... And move Okay, guys, you can go ahead and use Smart Switch and restore all of your apps, app data, call log, um, all the stuff that you backed up and it actually restored all my music images videos too. It even restored my home page, which is really nice. Anyway guys, I finally got my phone rooted. Um, pretty easy to do if you followed my tutorial. It actually took me a lot longer because um, the root method obviously this time was different um, because Majisk was broken. The steps were a lot different from previous galaxies. Um, so please hit the thumbs up for me. <laughs> With the Note 8, it took me four months because I keep messing up and my OEM would lock. But I'm happy I didn't have to wait seven days. You know, because when you're making a tutorial, it's like sometimes it's really easy, but stuff like this, if I mess up a little bit, then I gotta wait seven days, which sucks. But I was able to safely root it. Um, you should be able to root yours. This root method should work uh, with future Android updates. All right, that's the way I made the tutorial. But if you're watching this in the future, definitely hit me up on Twitter or join us on our high on Android telegram and ask us if, if the old root method still works. Have a great day and as always, stay on Android. Click here to subscribe.